uh, you are abusing me because you don't agree with my political views, but that is not enough reason for you to come and pay on my page and insult me, but I can see that you are on my line leko. It's possible that your parents trained you, but you just refused to take the training. So the whole world is watching you and you are such a disgrace to your family. Yes, you know, no power can stand forever. So when you treat people like slaves, like a conquered people, one day the empire will collapse. No human being is perfect, I am not perfect, but I believe that we must strive for per perfection as much as possible. Uh, when you make mistakes, don't feel too big to acknowledge your mistake, okay? So, if you don't appreciate people for who they are because of ethnicity or whatever bias you have, that is okay. But I can tell you, instead of wasting your time on social media, you know, uh, insulting people, you can spend that time positively and do something with your life. I am a betrayer and political. I'm not a political psychophant, would have joined Tinubu by now. I've been in opposition all my life. It takes a man to stand Gidiba in Nigeria without joining those who are in power. I have heard there is nobody in power in Nigeria that I have not known closely enough, yet I'm able to criticize them. Tell me how many people would benefit from a government and refuse to join that government. There is none of you that can benefit from a Tinubu government and a Dele Momodu. Yet I'm saying no. Our country must do what is right. It is not a fight. It is not a betrayer. But if you call it a betrayer, I leave you to your conscience. The day you can stand up in public and defend what is right, that is the day Nigeria will continue to improve. But where we sweep things under the carpet because our friends are involved, I've criticized virtually every government in the last 40 years in Nigeria. And I will be a very useless man to ignore my friend and say because my friend is in power. If you call that betrayer, it means that you don't even have any sense of logic. It is easier for me to support every government in power and make easy money. But you are complaining that I refuse to sell Nigeria because of my personal interest. It shows that you are not a serious person. What do you say about those accusing Atiku and Obi for treason? Of course, they are <laughs> yeah, yeah, people now. Only a yeah, yeah, person will say somebody expressed himself. Somebody went to Chicago to cross check if somebody lied in Nigeria in his affidavit to INET, and you are saying that is treason. Then what is treason? And what people forget is that Tinubu himself was a fighter against the military. He fought. And when the military left and Obasanjo became president, Tinubu was one of those harassing him regularly, telling him the truth and fighting him. So how can Tinubu now become a president and you now say we have no right to query him? No, I disagree with that. Tinubu did that. It was one of the reasons why he became, you know, very popular at that time. People saw him as a bold and courageous man. So Tinubu cannot accuse anybody of treason. Otherwise, what we did against the military, it was even more than treasonable. So Tinubu today, I'm sure... He, he knows what I'm talking about. He will not, in good conscience, be able to accuse anybody of treason in Nigeria because he did worse to other governments, even under Jonathan. These guys protested endlessly until the government of Jonathan collapsed. Jonathan never touched any one of them. So today, if they are not planning to be arresting people because they are criticizing Tinubu, then they are hypocrites. Only a hypocrite will do that. So, and since most of those around government cannot tell government the truth, so it's those of us who are their friends who can tell them what is reasonable about my man saying, oh, people are accusing you that you didn't go to school. People are saying you forged. Come out for a few minutes and talk about it on live television and clear it. It is those who love you who will tell you the truth. All these guys will run away. If trouble comes tomorrow, they will all run away. And leave the leader and his family to clear the mess. So I am telling you, I personally, I won't speak for anybody else. I personally have nothing against Tinubu. He remains my friend and my big brother. But I'm sorry, 
I mean, the, if people cannot continue to insult Nigerians, they are just, all they do is insult. If you talk, insult. Go on, go on Twitter, insult. Now I don't even care. I don't even see it because we are very focused and we know that history will judge us right. Anything we do today should be about history. We know that everything that has a beginning will have an end. And at the end, they will know who is their friend, they will know who is their enemy. I'm not one of Tinubu's enemies. I don't have anything personal against him. This is about Nigeria. I place my country above friendship. Nothing whatsoever. He knows it. Tomorrow, if anybody wants to victimize Tinubu for his beliefs, I will be one of those I will remove my shirt and fight. I defend the rights of every man. Regardless of whether you are my friend or you are my enemy, nobody can be victimized. See me, I talk about Bawa. I don't know Bawa, but they've locked the guy away in prison all this while. Without fire. In a democracy, it is senseless. That's who I am. I don't know Bawa. I don't know. The same thing they've done to Emei Fele. Emei Fele was the governor of Nigerian Central Bank. Now they've locked him up for months without fire. And my question is, so if you say May Fede did wrong, that is why the economy of Nigeria collapsed, then since May that you have taken over, what has been your gain? What has been the gain of Nigeria economically? So you lock May Fede, in fact right now, they should go and beg him wherever they are keeping him to ask him the secret of how the dollar did not enter 700, 800, now 1,000 plus. If I were to go now, I will go and beg the if they quiet, they say, come, please, can you come and teach those who are there now what you did? Because whatever manipulation they did, they were able to keep the dollar much lower than what it is today. And nobody is talking because everybody wants food from government. Look, how much food can we eat? How much food can we eat? And that's why I've become a pastor now. I will sermonize. And let the world know that at least so when everybody kept to mute, me I spoke. You are locking up people. Everybody knew last year how I wrote and told them if you lay off. I said, go and resign. If you know you are interested in politics, go and resign and find something else to do. Now they are locking the same man up. And I'm one of the few people say, no, you cannot lock a man up indefinitely. If you don't have anything ready, then leave him. Then when you are ready, then go and pick him. I don't understand this country. And people forget that one day, they too will leave power. And when you leave power, people will do to you what you are also doing to other people. People don't think. What's wrong with us? I'm not a beneficiary. I, I don't owe a maybe one couple in my life. Okay? I'm one of his biggest critics. I used to criticize him a lot that you cannot do this, you cannot do that, you have to play percussions. But despite that, I don't believe in, in impunity where you lock up people indefinitely for nothing when you are not ready. When you are ready, go and pick them up. You cannot lock a man down and say you are carrying out investigation. That's, that's not the, somebody who believes in the rule of law. And we are in a democracy. Anyway. A man that wants Ausa Fulani to continue, why not? Without Ausa Fulani, will your team will be in power today. You people just talk sometimes irrationally, and you don't know that you are even jeopardizing the chances of your principal. When you talk, you talk, talk as if Tinubu is the president of Yoruba nation. Tinubu today, whatever he is, he has become today, is courtesy of some people from the north. So if you don't appreciate that, then I pity, I pity you. That's what, I, that's what I was saying now. Simplicity. Yes. If you are there, you are fumbling. You say you have removed subsidy. Fine. You have removed subsidy. You have removed MFLA. You have removed even Shokumbi that came after MFLA. So, how come the economy has not picked up? That's a question that Nigerians should be asking. It's because there is no stability right now in Nigeria. And people are just doing whatever they like in Abuja. The jamboree in Abuja continues. The politicians are still on their bazaar. They are on, on, on a page, spending money and enjoying their lavish times. That's interesting. So the economy is not going to improve. 
until you introduce some measure of discipline. If you don't, there is no way to do it. So someone should let the government of Tinubu know that Nigeria requires urgent, urgent intervention. And, and so, but you know, so any house that is built with people, Ilete Afi, Thomas B. Ilungo, ordinary deal will fall on it and it will collapse. Tested on the platform of PDP before Tinubu unite as the APC uh, presidential candidate and Peter will be emerged as that of Labour. You didn't expect me to suddenly abandon PDP because uh, Tinubu was APC candidate or Peter Obi was Labour candidate. No, I remained in my party. I don't know how that became a problem. I don't have more than one vote. Anyway, so that is what happened. There is no way I would have. The moment I accepted to work for Atiku, there is no way I would be working for Atiku and basically working for Tinubu. I, I would be an idiot to do such a thing. And once I'm committed to a cause, anybody who knows me knows that I will, I'm fully committed. I'm fully committed to that uh, article project. And even now, we've moved beyond. Because since after the election, I've, all I've been doing is to be a volunteer for article. I've not received one, one cup of uh, for article. Can I want you to notice me when we've been together for 30 years? What notice is that? If I want you to notice me, I will start praising him today. He will immediately, I still drink cold water. Oh, I do, I, I do everything. <laughs> I live my life very well. No human being is going to live forever. I live very well, very, very well. I'm 63 plus going on 64. Look at me where do I look? My age is God, it's not me. Even if you refuse to eat for the rest of your life, you can die anytime. So I don't do anything in excess. Most times I do drink warm water, I drink tea or coffee or anything, but I live my life. Election has come and gone, let's support the government. Yeah, you are free to support the government. There is no country that ever made it by moving on after every disaster, none. So I, we cannot move on. Even if article moves on, it's not about article, it's about our nation. That's what I'm telling you. Since we finished the election, I've been a volunteer and dream, I think, for Nigeria. Now, Atiku has transferred the body to us. He has played his part creditably, creditably well, and I, I respect him for it. He's a great man. Who? who? Did the Tinubu do me any bad? No, he didn't do me any bad. It's about Nigeria. So if you have yes, please, kindly open it well. It's about Nigeria. It's not about Tinubu or about Atiku. It's now about Nigeria. What I've been preaching is what one white man preached to us today. Uh, where is that? Let me look for it. So, if some of you have not listened to it, you need to listen to it. Even foreigners know our country more than we do, or we refuse deliberately to know our country because of our various interests. Uh, so, the truth must be told at all times. And I've decided that we support Nigeria, not an individual. And those who want to support him because he's their friend, they think they will make money, he's a member of their party, they think they stand to gain something, he is a Yoruba man or whatever. Sorry. It is all well and good. So, but I've said mine. I expect them to do is to simply start by apologizing and atoning for the mistakes. As I wrote last week, this thing did not start with Atiku. It started with Ghani Fawa 24 years ago when Ghani took Tinubu to court and uh, on technical grounds, the case was thrown out. So Tinubu left as government of Lagos in 2007, that's 16 years ago. In 16 years, all his supporters who are now making noise on television, on radio, on social media, none of them could help him to 
put his file together. If you know something had created a problem for you in the past, what I expect you to do is to make sure that when you have the time, find the time and clean it up. There's nobody who is perfect. I've said it many times. But it's a situation where you believe you are untouchable, nothing is going to happen, and you. So this is what happens. It's an act of God. Then if I knew who started the thing at long died, may God continue to rest his very beautiful soul, very courageous soul, that he suffered for that. He did it because he was a Yoruba man. He went to court. So, so this is what is happening, and this is what is playing out. Instead of bullying everybody into silence, instead of bullying everybody into submission, we should just accept the truth, and the truth will set us free. Some of us are equally guilty because we kept quiet all along. But personally, I was hoping that these guys would perfect this thing. But, but unfortunately, that is not the case. So we're working. God is leading Nigeria somewhere. Uh, which I which I wait and see what happens. Thank you so much. If you were the head of census in Nigeria, you will read because I can read a lot of people saying, "Yeah, God bless you, God bless you." People are, are happy to listen to, and you know, anyway, Oluwato is always in the minority. The person telling the truth is always in the minority. In case you have not learned that wisdom from the elders, that is the wisdom. Olo, talk you, Lenny, ask your people, they will tell you. Anybody who is speaking the truth will not be popular. So I'm proud to be in the minority. I'm not competing with anybody on my pages, my account. I'm not competing. So if I see people who will support anything, any act of wickedness, because they want to be voluntary slaves, I can't help them. I cannot help them. Okay? God bless every one of us. If people just come and say, hey, if they are all the same, they are all the same. Yeah, if they are all the same, go and prove it. At least he didn't sit down at home to say, oh, Tinubu did the Tinubu that. He went after him. Do you know what it would cost to go to court in America? <laughs> but uh, don't worry. I'm too old now to depart from speaking the truth. I see 80 year old men who are still running after government. So I am not, uh, I am not one of such. I will continue to do my work to the best of my ability. Mm -hmm.